if I'm giving 48 hours to change this country, the first thing I will make sure I do is to change the leadership in which the elders are on top. The youth should take over totally. That's what. That's the first thing I will do. Other things. What are other things? Mm, I will make sure I privatize everything. The government should totally hands off in every aspect. Let let there be restructuring, permanent restructuring in Nigeria. I'll do it. So as guy, where you been now? What do you yourself? What do you go do for yourself, your family? Say, ah, I don't become president. Too. Wow, this is awesome. The first thing I will do, I will make sure I live fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a graduate. I have graduates. I feed them so that they will be anywhere. You not go chop. You not you not go pack money. Uh, I will not embezzle now because if uh, all, all, all eyes will be on me, I'm a youth. Corruption. Hmm. First thing that you change yeah. corruption. You stop corruption in Nigeria. Yeah. What other things will you do? Uh, not those students. You no, know, there is no job, so I have to provide job for them. Hmm. That means employment opportunity for people. So for yourself, go go. What you go do? Kill them and shake. Huh? Um, well, I'll change my life too. Hmm. So and I'll change my family. There's power, there's money too. There's so money. you take a lot of money, Abby. For no. yourself. For, for, the for the country. For the country. I'll change the country. For the country. For good. Okay. What other things will you do? That's what I can do. For me, I think we have to, we have to sit down and, and discuss our problem. We need restructuring. So what's what's the problem of Nigeria from the way things are now? No, we are just deceiving ourselves. We have to sit down and discuss our issue. We have to restructure everything. But what if they just the power call in upon? The center you? is too much. We have to, we have we have to sit down and reduce the power in the center. Hmm. That power in Abuja. So what exactly would you change if they just call what you now? Exactly what I'm telling you now, I will call everybody together. Let's sit down around the table. Let's discuss our issue. If we are still going to be living together, stay together as a one Nigeria. How many times would they tell you before you know that Nigeria is not for you? Ah? Okay, what, what about for yourself? You at least, I'm the president of Nigeria. There's, there are things you'd want to do for yourself and for your family. That's what I'm telling you now. As a, as a, as a uh, family man, okay. you have to call your family together. Sit down. You, this is what is happening. Oh my God! Wow! You know, you have to sit down and discuss our issue. So we don't know the fundamental problem. You can't find solution now. Huh? 48 hours. Oh yeah. Hmm. 48 hours. Mm hmm. Well, we think got over the menu. See you over. I think I'll call me president for 48 hours, but... I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. Because I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. Why? So, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. 48 hours, I'm president. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. Oh, yeah, mommy. I don't want to say that. Hey, mommy. Ha, 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 ha. If I must be to do uh, 48 hours, I'll be governor, I'll be president. At least all the graduates, I'll give them work. I will employ them, mm -hmm. and I will, I will make everything easy mm -hmm. for the people mm -hmm. in, the in the country. And secondly, send them my friends, see them too. Kawati, amiga for amiga. Now if I get our zie, I'm at our family me or to touch him alive. So possible. So you know my code yet? Ah, you know, auntie my code. Eh, what about you? You know, code. I'm so bad. No, auntie, to buy you know. Eh, she, I just keep going back here. I want to buy you. I don't know. So I leave. So I leave. I will change the constitution that favors the rich. Okay. I will make it favor the poor and the. Um, less privileged, something okay. like that. 
Um, how many things can I change? Just one. Uh, just what would you permanently change? So it can be anything, it can be everything. It's okay. Sort of okay, I'll make laws that make um corruption will be punishable by death. Okay. Um, apart from that, I would empower the youth. I think that is quite easy. What about for yourself, for your family? Uh, -uh you don't get power now, money go day. Uh, for my family, I think my family is all right as they are. So I really, really yeah. Um, hey. Um, for my family, it's be just basic. They'll work and they'll get money. Nothing out of the ordinary. You don't go pack money. Talk now. Nah, talk true. Talk true. Exactly. You don't need to pack money. You can make money the right way. Okay. So what will you change if you become the president of Nigeria for 48 hours? I'm going to change the moral of Nigeria because the problem we are having in this country is problem of moral. That is why. And government refused to provide basic infrastructure for the people, and that's why nobody is safe in Nigeria. It's simply because we, we lack of word of God, we lack of moral. That is the, so. That's what I'm going to change exactly. So what will you change for yourself and for your family? Myself? Yes. And my family? Yes. Sir. Once I change, once I change my, once I change the whole nation, my family, everybody, I change. So everybody will change. Of you course. You use that opportunity to take enough money for yourself. No, no, no that's not possible. Ah. I mean, I don't understand. Yes, because God is going to ask every one of us how we got our money and how we spend it. So why would I embezzle all the money that which I know that I can't take it to heaven? So I cannot embezzle what I cannot spend. For what? That's not. But the first thing I will do, I will make sure all the rich men, I will kill them. Hey. I will do like the Donnelly in Ghana. Judgment straight. Of course, because they are the one destroying everything. Everything. So for yourself, now what do you go do for yourself? For my own self, once I'll make sure that everything is okay. Hmm. I won't be only just to be shopping money alone. Hmm. But you go chop small money. No, let me tell you something. Nothing you bring to this art and nothing is good, you are going to take back. Hmm. You must remember the end of the day. Hmm. You know, by the time you died, you know, just only six feet. Hmm. Remember the former governor of your state now, Senator Abel Adumabi, upon all the rich. Amen. How many of the cars you take along, or how many of the houses you take along? Only him and his work himself. himself. So that's the only thing you need to. But what of Abiola? Hmm. See all the all the money that Abiola gets today. Where is it? He didn't carry them. That's it. Right. See so many people that rich. How many of the things they carry? Nothing. So the only thing you will do is to kill. Oh, love that. Too much. Too much money is too much problem. <laughs> our leaders. Change our leaders permanently. Yes. Permanently. Yes. What about for yourself? What will you change? And your family? What I will change about my if I should be a president. Ah. Just nothing much about my family. Nothing. Ah, your life got changed now. You got I money got But ah, changing my family has been done already. So there is always a change in my family. So there is nothing to change, it's just to work on my family, that is just it. You change education, um, the way, uh, situation things, like uh, uh, how to make money flow, flow. So, and make everything day easy for our people. So, so mommy, as they talk now, you don't go pack money for yourself and for your family. Mm, nobody. Nobody go, nobody with the uh, feet go, feel rich uh, president, president level. Mm. We no pack money mm. for them. Mm. So, but night be the thing say you go remember your people. So. President of this country, as it is, based on all what we have noticed, I think power generation, mm. power generation, whatever it will take us to sustain that ability power generation, when we are able to generate power, then other industry will be relieved and will not be having brain drains as a result of their transfer of skills to another country. Power generation is the first key factor to be done permanently, as in made this permanence. So what about for yourself, Daddy? What will you change for yourself and for your family? For myself? That's why I'm, that's why I'm out. How to generate income permanently. I, I'm, I'm out now to look for what to do finally to continue eating and to continue sustaining my children. And power supply is part of it. I see like utilizing the internet to make money 
without stress. That's one of the reasons why I'm out. I'm trying to look at the areas I can extract uh, business from that will relieve me, that will not make me spend too much or give me more stress. You understand? So we should be able to see how people can operate in a minimum way and get maximum satisfaction. That's what we, are, we should be looking towards in Nigeria. We should be able to send robots to market. It's not too late or it's not too fast for Nigeria economy. We have brains outside. We have Nigerians outside that are developing robots. Imagine drone, drone that American country is developed. I mean, is striking the whole world with. Behind the scene is a Nigerian, a Nigerian in charge of drone that America is using to, to look like number one in the whole world. It's been designed by a Nigerian. Check it out. We have the resources. We have the power. Just that from beginning, we've mismanaged it. We have sponsored dre, dre, dead brains to the top, and it's affecting us.